Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salati wa salam ala rasulillah. This is Behold the God speaking from Athens, Greece. Let me take this out of the way. Right now it is 6.15 a.m. here, Athens, um, Sunday 29th May 2022. I'm in Clubhouse. Right now, this is happening live, in a room called, quote, Unitarianism is heresy. Jesus is God in flesh, end of quote. I'm about to end... I already asked them, I told them I'm going to be back in one minute to make the, the introduction for this video. And I'm going to ask them a very simple question. Let's see how they're going to respond. I'm going to switch accents, of course, because I do that because I make people feel comfortable. So, here we go. Okay, okay, I'm back. You'll notice, okay, you notice what's happening with him. He started getting more verbose, more interruptive, and talking faster and faster without listening. So he was just getting worse and worse. And I repeatedly said, please, you know, that's not the way I was going to do it. And then he started to get, oh, now you're going to do it. Okay, fine, we're done. You can't have, sit and have a good conversation, so we can't have a good conversation. So yeah, go ahead. Yes, um, I have a, a very quick question because I have to go to work. Um, sure. According to Christian theology... Trinitarians believe that there is three people in the in the Godhead, according to according to Christianity again, not according to other religions, and that is no. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. So no. the thing is, no, it's not correct. the thing, well, three persons or three, however, however you want to call them, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Is that correct? It has to be according to our teaching, which is three persons, and the word person has three to be Three persons. Okay. okay, so Father, Son, Holy Ghost, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so we have you guys, I mean, sorry, you guys have the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, three separate persons in your Trinity, but does that mean that also, for example, let's say Jesus is the Father? Or the Holy Ghost is the Father? No. No. Okay, so why does it say in John 17, 3, according to Jesus Christ, please be upon him, in his own words, that the Father is the only true God? That's what he's talking about there is in the context. Oh, the yeah. What's the, what's the context of that? In which context is God, is the Father the only true God? What, 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 what context changes, it, changes that? Uh, oh, he muted me. If you're going to continue to interrupt me while I answer... I just destroyed him with one question. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Epic. <laughs> Guys, read it, read it. An eternal life means to know you, the only true God, and to know Jesus Christ, whom you sent. You can go to verse 5, you can go to John 1 1. It's finished, it's finished. The guy's finished. <laughs> he muted me. <laughs> right away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hilarious. You see, guys, how Christianity is so easy to so easy to to refute. So easy. It's the easiest religion, inverted commas religion, to refute. It's a joke. Anyway, guys. Um like the video, share, share it, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't so, leave some comments below, tell me what you think, and having said that, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, this is Behold God, and I'm signing out.